All right, welcome to part two of building a web application with RAG and ChatGPT. So in, uh, in this video, we're going to go ahead and start setting up just the framework for the web application. Um, you know, set up methods, um, make sure we can do our file uploads, you know, and then we'll add to-dos for the uh, various portions where we would actually need to call the model. So the two th the things that we need, we will need a front end um, chat interface. We'll need an admin panel. We'll need a file upload. And we will need a file processing method. Um, and then we'll also need to send message method. So the first thing we're going to do here, and uh, you should have all of these, by the way, you should start with a style CSS, an admin.html, a chat.html, and a requirements.txt. These are all in the starter code um, that's provided in the video description and was in the last video description. So if you don't have that yet, go ahead and download it. Um, the extra index URL uh, stuff here is specific to your particular um, version of CUDA and your GPU, uh, assuming you have a GPU. So what I would suggest doing is going out to the web and looking for PyTorch installation instructions from, uh, you know, from PyTorch to compile with NVIDIA GPU support, because this portion may be specific to your use case. So, let's go ahead and pull in the libraries we're going to need. Um, and I've already pip installed this requirements TXT. You should do the same. So we're going to say from flask, import flask, render template, request, and JSONify. Uh, and we'll import OS. And we're going to need um, an uploads directory. So let's go ahead and say if not os.path.exists uploads os.makedir uploads. That'll be necessary for our web app. All right, cool, there we go. We have our uploads directory. Um, and actually, let's make this just a tiny bit smarter. We'll do upload folder is uploads, and then we're not repeating ourselves because we're gonna use it one other place. Okay. Um, we'll need to do app equals flask. app.config upload folder is equal to upload folder. All right. Um, we are going to need to declare uh, whether certain things are allowed files. So we'll do allowed extensions is equal to PDF in lowercase. And then we'll say def allowed file, file name. And this will be for the upload section, but we're just going to go ahead and get declaration out of the way up here. And file name and file name dot r split. So what this is basically doing is this is splitting on the dot and grabbing the um, end of the uh, the dot PDF, and then we're going to say in allowed extensions. So looks a little funny, but what this is doing is it's checking to see you know the last if the extent what the extension is, and then it's comparing it you know with the list of allowed extensions, and returning true if it's found in there. 
um, and you can obviously increase the number of allowed ex extensions, but this code right now is designed to work with PDFs. So we're starting with that. Um, now out of the box, we need to add a route for app.route slash, and we'll do def chat return render template chat.html. So, um, and then we can actually go ahead and start the Flask app and just see if this part works up to this point. App.run debug equals true. And uh, that debug will both give us more information, but in Flask, it will also do uh, live reloading. So as we make edits, Flask is going to go and um, sort of reload things live for us. All right, so from the files you've already downloaded, you know, we started out with an HTML, a uh, couple of HTML files and a CSS file. And uh, that HTML file, chat.html, is giving you this text. So, you know, you're getting um, the web interface, you know, and the sort of initial welcome message here, just straight from the HTML. You can see that here, you know, hello, I'm the librarian here to answer questions from my library of books. Um, if I said, if I came in here and said something to it, it's not going to do anything because literally all we've done is, uh, you know, render a template. So let's go ahead and get um, our send message app.route send message methods equals post def send message user message equals request dot form message dot lower um, and then we'll throw in a to do call the model and we're just going to say response is equal to high and we will return a JSONified version of that response. Okay. Um, the admin section, we'll go ahead and copy this. This will look very similar. We're going to say admin. Um, we will make the function admin. And we're going to render templates admin.html. Um, the file upload is the first place we're going to actually add some real logic. So this will be app.route slash upload. So the admin here, actually, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, it didn't like, because I didn't finish my app.route upload. Uh, let's go ahead and upload file post and we'll throw a pass in there. So if I go to slash admin, uh, it may not have finished loading. Yeah, it crashed. Let me rerun it. So if I go to slash admin right now, it's going to give us um, in that HTML, it's got an upload file section, and a process file section. Um, right now, this is not going to do anything. It's just going to say processing and never come back and upload file is equally not going to do anything. Um, we could try it. We could come in here and grab one of our texts, but it's just going to say method not allowed because we have not coded that functionality yet. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that upload file post. So first um, we'll do methods equals 
post. That's why we got a method, a method not allowed, because we didn't tell it what methods it could use. Uh, now we can say if file not in request.files return no file part. Uh, we can also check for an empty file. If file.file name return no selected file. Um, and let's see. Oh, it helps if I actually declare file. So file equals request dot files file. Um, and then we can go ahead and say if file and allowed file file dot file name. Because remember, at this point, we've already seen that it's, you know, they uploaded a file, um, there is content. So we're just checking to see if it's allowed. Oh, no colon there. Uh, File.save, os.path.join, app.config, upload folder. File name, and if you recall, we coded, we added that uh, Flask config for upload folder up here, so it's got it. And then we're just going to return a message file, file name uploaded successfully. The little exclamation point will make it a, a happy message. Else return file type not allowed 400 so the actual functionality is pretty simple it's uh it's just a whole bunch of debug or a whole bunch of uh you know checks to see if uh if it should proceed with the upload um, and then finally down here app.route process files methods equals post oh I messed that up post def process files and then to do call the model and process files and then we're just going to return jsonify Status files processed successfully. All right, um, so we're not really doing anything here. We're not really doing anything here. The only functionality we can test at this point is the upload. So let's go ahead and test that out. So I'm going to go to my downloads and we'll grab the human nutrition text and it was uploaded successfully. And uh, I'll link the, uh, both of these documents are open source. The human nutrition text I'm using is, is open source as is uh, the, uh, the, the other, the pre-calculus textbook. So I'll drop links to both of those in the video description. But we can see here, we were able to upload successfully and if we go in here to uploads, we now have human nutrition text.pdf. All right, so I think the front end of our application is at least templated out um, in a place to where we can start to build the back end, um, start to build out the class that's actually going to handle, you know, our, um, our retrieval augmented generation component. Um, I will link the both of the textbooks as well as the starter code in the video description if you don't already have them um, and uh, in the next video we'll go ahead and get started on some of the back-end functionality see you there